Hey everybody, this is Coach Steve with Steve Miller Golf. And again, I'm answering some questions that I get from clients and just people who are asking me questions for us, like how do I hit this shot? So I made a post today, uh, put it on Orlando Golf Network and was just asking people like, hey, you know, what kind of shots would you like to have, like that you feel like you can't hit right now? And because you just don't know how. And I got this one from Greg and he was talking about how do I hit a, a bunker shot that just kind of just gets out over, like very, very short shot gets out over so that way it can trickle the rest of the way to the hole. Well, this is not a very difficult shot, but it is one that you have to practice in order to make sure you can feel the consistency of the, the sand. And also, you want to make sure that you're you know able to generate enough speed. So a lot of people, what I see them do, you know, they'll step in and they'll, they'll make such a short swing and they'll just like stop and the club just kind of goes, uh, and nothing really happens to it. Well, Greg, to help you out, the best thing I can tell you to do is this. Now, it depends on whether it's a, uh, a high lip or whether it's a, a shallow lip. This is probably just a touch easier. But when you get in, you're going to get, you know, very, very open to it. You're going to go ahead and open uh, the club face just a little bit. And the big thing that you want to do is you have to be able to generate speed into the ball because we know that the, uh, the follow through is going to be a little bit restricted. So a la Jordan Speed, who likes to go like, you know, long to short. This is one of those things. We're still going to get enough sand to get out of there, but we are going to make sure that we put enough speed in through the sand so that way we can actually resist the, uh, the follow through or, you know, slow that follow through down a little bit and almost dump it out and let it release to the pin. It may look a little something like this. So I'm going to get in, depending on the sand, I'm going to dig in to make sure that I can trust the, uh, the stable base. I'm going to go ahead and open that face just a little. I may swing back to here, just get the club vertical. And I almost just feel like I'm just going to drop through and follow through here. You still have to follow through. Greg, I hope that this helped you out by understanding that you still want to be able to create some momentum so that you can actually, you know, restrict that follow through a little bit and trust it. Instead of making a short swing and trying to over accelerate or stopping, go ahead and let that club move. That way we have the speed going in and a much shorter follow through. If this helps you with your game or anything else, please give me a call. I would love to help you. I appreciate you guys watching and let me know if there's something else that I can help you out with. Thank you.